To assess elbow flexion and extension, you're going to ask the patient to lay in supine, keeping in mind that your patient may not be able to tolerate this position. You can also measure it in sitting. You're going to want to place a towel underneath the humerus of the patient. This is in order to lift the elbow off the table so that you can place your goniometer there and you're able to get accurate readings. The axis of rotation for the elbow is the lateral epicondyle, which can be palpated easily here. You can place your axis there, like so. The stable arm in this case is going to be along the longitudinal axis of the humerus or pointing to the tip of the acromion. So once you've located that there, you can hold it steady. The movement arm follows the longitudinal axis of the radius. An easy way to find that is to find the radial styloid process and place your goniometer there. In this case, we're demonstrating 85 degrees of elbow flexion, where normal range is 0 to 150 degrees. We also can measure extension. Um, we can move it here. In this case, the movement arm just follows the radius. Everything else stays the same. And you would say that the, you're measuring minus 105 degrees of elbow extension in this case.